dear viewers here i am again i want us to continue with our autocad 3d lessons in the previous lessons we saw how we are creating a corridor based on the profile assemblies and the surfaces which we have so now i want us to continue and see how now we can create uh, section views for each and every section of our corridor at least you see how the corridor cuts through the profile after creating the section, the section views are the ones which are going to help us now to come up with a report of earthworks, the amount of earth to be cut, and the amount of earth to be filled in a given section of our corridor based on the surface where the corridor passes through. So when you come to those are profile views, so I want to come to create what we call, uh, before you create uh, 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 section views we have what we call uh, sample line sample line these are just lines that cut, cut section of user specified sessions along an alignment so we want to cut through because now we have our corridor made so we want to cut through various sections we have to cut through the corridor so that now we can create our section views and see that each and every particular uh, section how much uh, how much is going to be cut and how much is going to be filled when you're producing our report. So when you come to sample lines, when you click on the sample line, it will ask you to select an alignment because now we have got various alignments. So because now you can select an alignment from the corridor, you just hit your enter key. When you hit the enter key, it will open. So I want to create my sample line based on first street. Then just hit your OK. And this is our sample line so I can give it a name like uh, street one mm. that's called a sample line group then you click OK so in the sample line tools you can see there's a red on the screen here you can see there's something red that's called a sample line mm. you, so you have to specify a specific station so you can specify one station or you can specify you can put uh, stations along there corridor so here you you come and click by range of stations so you are taking for the whole corridor so when I click range of stations then now these are the sample line you can have your specifications you can have the width maybe I can do like 20 meters this one I maybe I reduce 20 meters it will depend and then this one maybe I also do 20 I can just have 20 for all increments 20 and then start with that you do make it true at range end make it true and then super elevation which is so critical you also make it true so when you click ok then you hit your enter key now you can see we have these are stations now so this this is my sample lines you can see my sample lines there in blue so we are starting from zero 20, we are going to 20 meters, 40 meters, 60, 80, 120, up to the end of our, our corridor. So that's my corridor, the sa sample lines which have been created. I can also create a, another sample line for, just hit your enter key, and then I take second street, you click OK, then you give it a name, it's called a sample line group can give it seat two. Then you just click OK. So it, it picks that street automatically. So you can have one or you can have a range of stations. Because when you click one, it will only give you this only particular section where you have clicked. But when you pick a range of by range of stations, so you can have your ranges. Eh? So you can see you use 20, 20, 20, true, 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 false. Then you click OK. Then you hit your enter key. So for corridor two, I also have my sample lines. So these are the sample lines where we, we are going to use to create our section views for each and every station. So I've done an increment of one, two, of zero to 20, 40, mm, increment of 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. That's the distance, maybe from here to here, you'll see how much is going to be cut and fills. So after creating my sample lines, now I come to do my section views. So since I have 
all my sample lines in the whole corridor mm, so I can create sample line on multiple views. Yeah, so when you click create multiple view sections, so first of all, select an alignment and sample line group, which was street one. And then now you can give your section view a name. Mm -hmm. So I can do street, street one, section, section views. Yeah. So it's a procedure, so that's the name. Then you click next. This is how it's going to be placed. The horizontal, it picks from the template. Then offset range, when you click next. Yeah, so this is the offset range. I'm using 20, neg negative 20, and plus 20. That's what I specified when I was creating my uh, sample line. Or you can have user specific. You can design your own by specifying the number. User specified. So let me just go back to automatic. And then we have elevation range. You click next. This is my elevation range. They will vary because I, I have got uh, quite a number of sample lines. So the range return varies. Or you can have user specified. So let me go with automatic. Then here we have section display. This, this is just display options. So you can see it's existing corridor, existing ground surface, and the corridor street one. Just click. And then these are data bands, how we're going to place. So once you've done that, you create your section views. Then you just place it far, just near there. I'm going to do that. So this is my section views. So you can see we have our assembly. You can see the assembly. This is our, that's our existing surface. And this is my assembly. So when you look into this, you can see how now this is our corridor, and this is our existing surface. So this line represents the existing surface. And so each in, in each and every station, you can see how your assembly is sitting on that particular surface. So you can see the places to be cut and the places to be filled for each and every stations, which are shown. So you can click and see they are up to the end for each and every stations. You can still see this is station for 80. You see how you are. This this is the existing surface, and then this is your assembly. That's how we create section views. Next, I'm going to create another section of views for Street Two, Corridor Two. I come to set create multiple views. Now, so I pick Second Street, and then sample and collection. I give it a name. to section views. This is the procedure, same. So you can see it starts from 0, 4, 9, up to that, that's there. Or you can use specified. You m it's not a must that you have to be for the whole corridor. Maybe you want only a particular section. You use user specified, then you specify. You, put your, your, you input your parameters there. Then you just click next. 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 And then next, and then next, then you create section views. Then you come and place it there. So for the street two now, you can also see how it's cutting through. So this is my assembly for street two. This is my existing surface. So this is how it's going to cut through that particular surface. So you can always view. You can see how the shapes looks like and each on each and every mm, station yeah. so this one will give us a report on how we can now calculate cut and fill volume report of earthworks and material list used in designing this road system so that's how we create uh, section views for our corridors based on the elements that we have created before based on the elements that we are created on the surface. So when you're creating a surface, you must have an assembly and a corridor and other previous tools or components that we had used so far. So viewers, that's how we create section views for our, for our corridor, how the corridor cuts through the existing ground surface. 
so that from there we'll see how we can produce reports on uh, cut and fill volume report. Thank you so much and let's meet in our next lesson as we continue with uh, our online training on Civil 3D. Thank you so much viewers.